Drax. Well, the subject of climate change has provided two young filmmakers from Lincoln with an internet hit. A cartoon they made has been seen by thousands, including some of the organisers of next week's Copenhagen Climate Conference. They were so impressed that the pair were asked to make a video for the opening ceremony. Crispin Rolf has been watching Ed's World. <laughs> Uh, Ed, I don't think we should be using this much electricity. What do you mean? Well, if we keep using this much electricity, then the power plants that provide it will have to work overtime, and that will result in the excretion of excessive amounts of greenhouse gases that will travel to the polar ice caps and boil and melt them and cause the sea levels to rise, which will ultimately result in extreme weather changes, no doubt causing the Earth to both overheat and flood simultaneously. Pfft, don't be silly. Like our electricity usage alone could cause that. <laughs> Ed's World, a cartoon communicating with the masses. Yeah, 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 From his bedroom in Lincoln, Ed Gaunt is helping to shape the views of the next generation on the controversial issue of climate change. A lot of the uh, people on YouTube don't really think it's a real deal. And so uh, hopefully this kind of makes them want to like, do a double check and have a look, at, look into it themselves. Holy hot dog on a toaster! It's a giant wave! But it's a wave of opinion which hopes to influence world leaders at the Copenhagen Climate Change Summit. We've gone from entertaining uh, 12 to 15 year olds in middle America to you know, being, being watched by world leaders and politicians. Ed's World has attracted 255,000 views. Um, which beats many children's programs these days on broadcast television. Look, I might not be around much longer, so I thought I'd better call. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, with extra anchovies, please. But while he waits for his pizza, many hope others will be getting the message. I've learned something today. Crispin Rolf, BBC Look North. Well, in the lead-up to that Copenhagen...